Hey guys, I'm John Setzler and welcome back to Atlanta Grill Company. Today we're going to fire up one of our Kamado Joe Classics and we are going to cook some Cheshire pork, pork cheeks. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the Classic fired up. I've got a fire going in the firebox here, the Classic 3. We're going to use the slow roller and I'm going to use a couple of chunks of pecan and cherry to get a little bit of smoke rolling in this guy. And then I'm just going to put the top on the slow roller and put our grill grates in the top position here. And we're going to run the grill at a temperature of 250 degrees. And while my grill's coming up to temperature, I want to introduce you to the star of today's show. I've got about uh, six pounds here of the Heritage Farms Cheshire pork, pork cheeks. And what we're going to do is we're going to smoke these for about two or three hours on the grill to get some smoke on them. And while they're smoking, I'm going to give them some of this uh, Atlanta Grill Company, some of my Man Cave Mills Pork Mojo, which is a sweet barbecue rub. <laughs> And we're going to let the smoke and the rub go to work on those for, like I said, somewhere between two and three hours. And after they've got a good bit of smoke, we're going to transfer to a Dutch oven. And we're going to put some sweet barbecue sauce in there along with a little bit of bourbon. And let those guys finish in a braise until they just fall apart tender. Our grill is up to temperature. I'm running right at 250 degrees. So we're going to put these cheeks on. And I'm just going to spread these guys out. It matters very little if these are overlapping a little bit. And then I'm going to hit them with a nice coat of our Man Cave Mills Pork Mojo. And then we're just going to close this up and let it bathe in this thin blue smoke for two or three hours. We've been going about two hours now and these things are looking perfect. They have a good bit of smoke on them so I'm gonna take these up and we're gonna move on to the next step okay I've collected these into a foil pan I've decided to do this instead of a Dutch oven and I'm just gonna dump an entire bottle of this Atlanta Grill Company sweet barbecue sauce in on top of these guys and then I'm gonna follow that up with about a cup or so of bourbon and I'm just going to kind of toss these guys around in that a little bit. And then we're going to cover this pan in foil and put it back on the grill. Then we'll just pop our grill back open. I've gone ahead and lowered the grate where this doesn't get into our dome thermometer. We're going to put that back on there three or four more hours and uh, let these things get just flaky tender. Okay folks, we're done. Uh, we've been going about five hours in the braise. I went for about two hours just in the regular smoke and I've had these in the pan here for about five hours and I've been checking them along uh, and these guys now are absolutely super probe tender. These guys are just ready to fall apart. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pull these off of here and then we're going to take a little closer look. Okay, I've taken one of these off here, and I just want to give you a kind of a glimpse at how flaky and tender these things are. These things flake apart, and they pull apart just like pulled pork. And you've got a couple of options of what you can do with this once you have it this tender. I like to do two different things with it. I like to take some of them whole, and uh, you can serve these whole on uh, a bed of rice. You can serve them on grits. I've served these a lot of different ways. You want to save the sauce that's in the pan, the braising liquid, to make a pan sauce with if you like. And you also, if you're going to vacuum seal any of this and freeze it, you want to put some of that sauce in the bag with it as well. But you can serve these things whole. You can pull it apart like this. It makes beautiful sandwich meat. Or you can make uh, pork cheek tacos with this as well. So. Guys, 
Give this a try. Let me know what you think. And until next time, this is John Setzler with Atlanta Grill Company.